It's Booty Quake here with a gentle and uplifting workout from Roller Derby Athletics. Hey everyone, I am coming to you from gorgeous and sunny Perth, Australia. This is such an amazing city. I'm up here in Kings Park, which is a park larger than Central Park in New York City. It's absolutely gorgeous and it has this beautiful cliff view over the city and I can't wait to do a workout here. Because I've been doing a lot of traveling recently, especially on long airplane flights, I managed to get sick this past week. So I've been a little under the weather and not doing my normal workouts. So it inspired me actually to create a workout that would be the perfect thing to do on a rest day, but when you just feel like kind of moving about a little bit, or when you're not feeling super great but you want to get in a little workout, or maybe when you're coming back from a long period off, you've been sick or you've been injured and you're starting back up with your fitness. So here's my strengthening, stretching, uplifting workout for you, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, so I am gonna warm up before I do this workout. You don't necessarily have to, but because I'm here in Perth, I have to take advantage of this amazing feature in their amazing huge park here, which is called Jacob's Ladder, and it's 242 steps up to the top. So even though I'm not feeling 100,000%, I am going to give this a whirl. Okay, so do some warm ups if you feel like it, and then join me for the workout. Oh, I made it. And there's a sweet payoff at the top because there's this amazing view out here. Uh, so anyways, I'm very warm and I'm ready to do my workout now. So here we go. Start with your weight in your heels and then send your hips backwards as you hinge at the waist and lean forward with a flat back five times. On the fifth time, you're going to go down into a flat back and then raise your hands up overhead with a big deep breath. Reach up to the sky and then come back down and do that five more times. Next we're going to get down into a wide sumo squat position. Then inhale as you reach your arm overhead to one side and then the other side again on an inhale and come back to the center and inhale as you come back up again and stretch your arms overhead. We're going to repeat this one five times as well. For this next sequence, start with your feet together, come down into a flat back squat, then reach one foot back into a lunge. Hands together in front of you and then twist to one side. Then return to that squat, nice and deep, and stretch up overhead again with a big inhale. Then repeat it with the other side. So squat, lunge back with the other foot, get a nice stretch in your hip flexor, and again reach your hands forward in front of you and twist strongly to the other side back to your squat and inhale as you reach up overhead. We're going to repeat this one five times on each leg. Our next exercise works on balance and posture. So starting from a tabletop position, you reach out with your opposite arm and opposite leg. You want to keep your torso and hips very, very still while you do this. So don't let your hips and shoulders drop or shift from side to side, especially as you're changing positions. Do this one for 20 reps, alternating sides. Before we get into our next exercise, we're going to warm up our glutes and hamstrings with some simple bridging up and down. With each one of these movements, you're going to do this five times. You want to squeeze your glutes and your abs first before you lift up then roll slowly back down. Once you've done your five reps, then we're ready to move into the bridge march. Just like the last exercise, your focus here should be keeping your hips as still as possible, keeping your core nice and engaged, squeezing your glutes. You're gonna do this one 20 steps. Next, we've got a push-up sequence. So you'll do a push-up, bring your one foot through to a side plank, lift your arm up overhead, look at the sun, come back down into a push-up, and do it again on the other side. So we're gonna do this one for 10 push-ups, which means a side plank five times on each side. And the last exercise in the sequence is a bicycle sit-up. So aim for 45 degrees with your outstretched foot, stretch your foot away from you strongly, and get a solid twist with your upper body. If you're feeling really strong, and if you don't have any lower back issues, then you can bring your feet closer to the ground when they're outstretched, like I'm showing here. 
You'll do this exercise for 20 reps as well, so that's 10 twists to each side. And once you've finished, you're going to repeat the entire sequence over one more time. Okay, so now that you've done the meat of the workout, I want you to push yourself just a little bit. So we're gonna do a little challenge at the end here. It's a starfish plank. So it's a side plank, and you lift one foot and or your arm while you do the plank. So I'm gonna show you the progressions, and I want you to push yourself, try something that will challenge you, pick a level to do, and then time yourself and see how long you can hold it for on each side. Okay, give it your best shot. The simplest way to start is from your elbow. Stack your feet and then put your hand on your hip. So this is the first level. Now to make it more difficult, you can go up onto your hand so that you have an outstretched supporting arm. This makes it quite a bit tougher. Then the next step is to try to lift your top foot. This is the next level of progression and then if you're ready, you can lift your hand as well. Now as I'm going to show you on the other side, you can do the other progressions, lifting your hand and your foot, from the elbow as well. So especially if you have wrist issues, this is a good option. And there you have it. I hope you found this workout relaxing but invigorating, and I hope you pushed yourself a little bit on those star planks. Coming to you from the very relaxing and invigorating Perth, Australia, I'm Booty Quake. I just kicked your ass, now you can go kick somebody else's. See you next time. Maybe it's just, it's bugs on me.